Hi there, this is Jacqueline with Nickel and Dime Decor. And I want, in this video, I would like to take you on a little tour of a um, quilt. It's a sampler quilt, and a friend made it, and I want to share it with you. And I want to share with you some tips for hand quilting, if you're interested in that. And a little bit of history on uh, sampler quilts and what all, you know, is in them. So join me and we will look at this beautiful quilt. Thank you. Hi, thank you for joining me. This is going to be a treat. You get to see this lovely, lovely sampler quilt. It has 12 blocks, all different, and all um, very well-known blocks. But the trouble is, the wonderful lady that made this, her name is Rita Niles, and she lives in Canyon, Texas. And she took a class, and this was a few years ago. <laughs> So she doesn't remember all of the names of the blocks, but this quilt is hand pieced and it is going to be hand quilted, which uh, there's about five blocks finished that are hand quilted. And uh, like, like many of us, Rita put it away for a while and now she's decided Dern, I want that quilt on my bed before this year's up. So she has her hand in many projects, does many crafts, and she asked me if I would like to hand quilt it, for finish it for her, and I said, sure. Uh, it's going to take a lot of hours because the blocks are very, very large. There's 12 of them, and... Uh, Lots of sashing, but we're going to get this thing finished. I promised her. But I want you to um, note maybe this first one. This is how two people can work together. Rita had already done this block, but she knew that it needed some kind of filler around the edges. She didn't mention a filler in here, but she did asked me if I'd do something around here. And I had this stencil that's just part, part of the stencil. And I adapted it to fit. It, it didn't fit, but I made it work. And I went all the way around and filled in. And it, that's what it really needed was to be filled in. You don't want to leave too many uh, inches of empty space when you're hand quilting. This is stippled. It's called stippling. And I just put it in because I felt like it made these hearts just come alive. And uh, so, so that's what this is. It's just called stippling. Now her... Uh, this one is called, I believe, churn dash block. Now, what I would recommend, if you want to make some of these different blocks, take a picture. Take a picture off of the YouTube or wherever you're watching it and um, research it and see what it is and find the pattern. And make your own sampler quilt. I believe this is a... I don't remember the size, but I have it on a queen size bed and it works pretty good. The sashing and all of the quilting is done with pink thread. And I love this thread. It, it's really work, it works well. It's just Coates and Clark uh, quilting thread, but it's it's been good to work with. Now on the sashings, you can't tail. I know you can't, but this is a swirl just all the way across, and I did a fourth inch across straight 
stitch straight stitch all the way across and up and down and then put the stencil um, in the middle and since this is a tutorial on hand quilting also I'll show you there's my stencil and after you put the fourth inch around it and then do that it worked out just great then for the little center pieces this is what I used and when you put it on there it fits if you don't use all this outer outer part of it just just the little center piece is all I used fit perfectly now the little lady that taught me to hand quilt told me I could have as many patterns as I wanted in hand quilting and uh, this one's mostly just straight you know straight lines but there's one right here and two and three and this is all straight so I like to put my different variations on the borders and the sashing. I want my sashing to all be the same. And they're all going to be the swirl. And then all of my center blocks here are going to be the same. And that gives you continuity and, a, a, you know, stabilizing of your quilt. Now, up here, at the, this right here on this one is a, a Dresden plate. I know that one for sure. This one is the flower basket. And um, that might be called flower garden, those hexagons. I don't know what it, which one it is. But uh, I'll show you some more that I'm going to use here in just a minute. Some more uh stencils especially around the border I want to show you what we're going to do okay guys I want to show you how I you know we can all use different stitches to quilt and whatever see how wide this border is on here and then this little strip I'm going to get these stencils and show you my my thinking there's no set rules you can do whatever you want but see how that fits perfect that's what I'm gonna do all the way around on this row is use that stencil it it fills the spot without being you know too dense and then this think I'm gonna see but I think see how that fits I think it's gonna work wonderful of course that's your corner piece but I'm going to use that for that border it's uh, not real dense you can cover a lot of territory and uh, when you've got long long borders to do this is what you want to do. Something that's not just real, you know, intricate. You want something pretty open. And this is what this is for, is for a border. So that's what we're going to use for that. On uh, something like, I don't know that you can see this one over here, but this block is just going to be straight stitches around the perimeter of each one outline stitches uh, probably the same thing for the little flower garden with the hexagons and the other one up there now if you have a space uh, check out this see that space right there that's a little big to leave open like that so time permitting we'll take care of that i don't want to use this one because that's 
just for my um, border pieces. See how you can see it? That looks, stands out pretty good. So I don't want to uh, do it over here in the, in the block. So I'll come up with something, I don't know. And like I say, time doesn't permit it. We'll leave it like it is. You don't have to cover each and everything. I mean, but I think hand quilting is such a lost art. And or if you could learn it and, and use it, just if you make one thing with it, you're leaving a piece of history. And I have a tutorial on how you do it and everything. It teaches you how to hand quilt. So that concludes our little trip down memory lane and looking at this beautiful sampler quilt. I hope you enjoyed it. And um, <clears throat> until we meet again, bye, God bless.